Will the Eastern Aquatic Facility ever get off the ground? Christchurch City Councillor David East campaigned on getting it up and running during last year's local body elections. His visions for an inspirational water playground for Eastern residents. The facility would replace Kiwi 2, which was destroyed in the earthquakes three years ago. We're losing a generation of kids being able to have swimming lessons. Uh, people in the eastern suburbs have got to travel huge distances now for aquatic recreation. Tomorrow a council committee will meet to discuss seven possible locations that staff are recommending for the aquatic facility. They include Aranui High School, Clare Park, Central New Brighton, Cuthbert's Green, Linwood Park, a new reserve yet to be created called Preston's and the original QE2 site. Council staff have until the end of September to report back to the council. The elected representatives will then determine the final location for the Eastern Recreation and Sports Centre. Last year it was agreed that $30 million of QE2 insurance money would be used for the Eastern facility, but recently it was discovered that money had been reallocated to the Metro Sports facility. QE2 is still in the budget, but if work doesn't start this year, it could be reshuffled. Christchurch City Councillor David East hopes the council locks in the budget for the pool as soon as possible. I certainly would be advocating for that money to be ad, uh, part of the insurance monies from QE2 and tagged to that project. I think it would give more surety of that investment happening in the eastern suburbs. Finding out the money has been shuffled already has made Councillor East rather worried. If it's lost altogether he won't be happy at all, neither will thousands of eastern residents. I'd be um, more than a little disappointed, uh, greatly incensed to be uh, quite honest. Councillor East says the council needs to move fast. At this stage the new aquatic facility won't be ready for another three years. Marcus Gibbs, CTV News.